Hello guys, today I'm gonna teach you how I create this simple portfolio website with this will menu that rotates when another page opened by the visitor. Before we start, I would like you to hit that subscribe button and become part of this awesome creative family. Now that you've done that, let's go into the tutorial. We are not gonna go through the designing stuff, cause it will take like 4-5 to five minutes of the time, but I've placed the link in the video description for you to download the design and follow me as well. On this page, I got this introduction text and a contact button. The social icons and this irregular shape are at the left bottom. So first we will focus on how to make these slides when the page is loaded for the first time. After that, we move to the navigation that rotates around the picture when a page is loaded. So the first thing I will do is, duplicate the artboard, and on the first artboard, change the position of the social icons and decrease the opacity to zero. The intro text and the contact button, also turn their opacity to zero. Shift the irregular shape down and leave a small part of it to show. So these simply will give us the ability to create the slide animation if I wire it up to the second artboard. To do so, hop into prototype mode. Select the first artboard and drag the blue handle to the second artboard. At the property window, change the trigger tap to time. Give the animation a delay of 0.2 seconds. Change the action type to auto animate. This action is the key that powers the animation to happen. Ease out to ease in. And the duration to 3 seconds. Let's preview and see how it will work. Perfect that's what we want. Back to the design area, I'll duplicate the artboard again. Keep in mind that, before I move to another stage I'll duplicate the artboard. On the page, you can see the navigation button surrounding this image. So if I move the picture, you can see a circle behind. This violet curve is the indicator that shows the page that is active at that particular time. So I got the curve by the border size of 8, dash of 600, gap of 2000, and a rotation of minus 45 degrees. If I change the rotation to 90 degrees, you will see it moves. Now let's proceed. This active page is the home page of the website, I will make the other navigation names invisible by decreasing their opacity to zero. Now move to the third, duplicate it again. Repeat the same thing here by decreasing their opacity to zero. This means this page is the about page. Here I'll change the position of the indicator to where the about is, by adding minus 45 to 90 degrees which gives us 45 degrees. On the left, I'll get rid of these and paste an auto-generated text. Move to the fourth artboard, duplicate. Make the, the navigation buttons visible and leave the blog. Change the indicator position to where the blog is, by adding minus 45 to 180 degrees which gives us 135 degrees. On the left, I'll get rid of these and paste an auto-generate text and image. Select all and add vertical scroll to enable the text and the image scroll to top and down. Move to another artboard. As always, make the navigation buttons invisible and leave the portfolio. Rotate the indicator position to where the portfolio is, by adding minus 45 to 270 degrees which give us 225 degrees. Get rid of these again. Pick the rectangle tool and draw, change the color to violet. Add a text, change the font size and the weight, and the color to white. Hold the ALT key on the keyboard and drag it to duplicate. Add a border size and change the color. Uncheck the fill color. Change the color of the text as well. I will quickly add free royalty pictures I downloaded from Pixabay. I leave the link in the video description. Select the picture and make it a component and add a hover state. At the hover state, increase the size of the picture. Switch back to the default state. Repeat the same process for the rest picture. I will duplicate the artboard again.
I'll delete the pictures and add free royalty videos. Now, let's make the rotational animation happen. Go to the second artboard. Hop to prototype mode. Select the about icon and drag the blue handle to the third artboard which is the about page. On the property window, set trigger to tap. Type to auto animate. Change the easing to ease in out and duration to 0.4 seconds. Play the animation and check how it will work. Click on the about button and the indicator will rotate. Now the indicator has to rotate back if we click on the home button. On the about artboard, wire the home button back to the second artboard which is the home page, and at the property window, the settings remain the same. Let's play it again. You can see it goes back and forth smoothly. Before I wire up the rest artboard, keep in mind that I will be adding 0.2 seconds duration if the indicator rotates two steps to the other. So what I mean is, if the home is the active page, for the indicator to move or rotate to blog, I will add 0.2 to 0.4 seconds which I set as the default duration. So from home to the portfolio will be 0.8 seconds. This means that we add 0.4 to our default seconds. Now I will move on to wire up the rest pages.
That's how to create this simple portfolio website with the wheel navigation button. I hope you have learned something good from this tutorial. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and be part of this awesome family. So on that, I say bye. See you soon on another tutorial. Peace.